If you like the idea of health and wealth, you need to take the Live Good Tour. Find out how me and thousands of others are making a monthly income with Live Good. Click the link in the description to take the five minute Live Good Tour right after watching this video. Welcome to BTFL. It's your man Earl, Batman Stringer. Now in this video, I'm going to give some good tips on how to get your first personal training client all right so a little bit ago a friend of mine asked me uh, to talk to her boyfriend because he had just became certified as a personal trainer and he didn't have any clients yet and she knew you know what i'm saying my background with personal training and teaching classes and everything so she asked me to give him some tips and i'm like damn this would be a good video so here we go all right one thing that i see people make the mistake of when they first get certified and trying to get clients is they focus on promotional material right they focus on like yo i need a flyer i need like a photo shoot you know what i'm saying i need to come up with like all my packages and i need to post them everywhere right i need to post like hey i'm a trainer i'm a personal trainer hey i'm getting uh i charge the best rates uh forty dollars an hour $30 an hour, like that's what people usually do because they're so excited, they just wanna get their client. So they feel like the best way to do it is just by straight traditional promotion by just putting the ad everywhere, right? Need a personal trainer? Need this, need that, right? And that's cool, but that should almost be the least, right, amount of marketing that you're doing, like the whole like promo flyer thing. You wanna focus on more attraction marketing right and because this is what i told the girl's uh boyfriend i'm like look you need to focus on first of all get your platforms together what platforms do you want to market on right as good as it sound like you know marketing on everything you need to put yourself on the platforms that you feel comfortable being on and that the, the platforms that you can be on on a regular basis all right so for example me I was YouTube and Facebook when I first got started in the game, right? And that was years ago because they didn't even have TikTok and Reels back then. And I don't even know if they had Instagram. I don't remember. But anyway, like my thing was YouTube and Facebook, right? So figure out your platforms. You might be TikTok and YouTube or whatever, right? So when it comes to attracting clients to you, what I feel you need a good mix of content. All your content shouldn't be nothing but uh, flyers with your prices on it right that's cool but that should be like I said the least thing that you post is like prices and that you're a personal trainer what you want to do is use workout videos workout videos and tips right and result content so what I mean by like workout videos and tips is you want to put up content like hey uh, do a video short video on uh, the importance of drinking water right or how much water should you drink in a day do a quick little video on that right or do a uh, four minute fat burning workout that you can do right you want to post things like that because posting things like that will show people like damn they really about that life you know then they're gonna be like damn they consistent like okay they really know what they talking about like they really do this right even if they didn't even know you was a trainer when you post things like this, people are gonna wonder, are you a trainer? Then when they look at your profile, whatever, they're gonna see, oh shit, they, they're actual trainer. Okay, right? But you wanna post like informative content, right? Give tips, give workout videos, actually do tutorials on how to do certain exercises. Like that should be a big chunk of your content that you post. The other big chunk of content that you should be posting is results, is results, before and after pictures. Even, cause you might be thinking like, dude, wait, 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 I don't got no before and after because I don't got no clients, bruh. Well, two things you could do. One, you know, if you trained somebody in the past, right? Or even if you're training somebody for free, maybe you're training a, a friend or a family member, just get them a, it only take them maybe a month or two to get some some sort of results you can use them or you could even use yourself right you can literally like look this is where i was last year look at me now 
and just post up like a before and after picture, right? That does wonders. I'm gonna show you the flyer that I created because my first actual paid client, this right here, I'm gonna put a little overlay. This image that I made, actually my client made it for me. This has gotten me so many clients. I would post this image like once a month on my Facebook. I did a video on my YouTube channel about it. Like this has made me so much money as a personal trainer. So whenever you get a client and they get any sort of results, make sure that you track it and try to get, you know, pictures before and after obviously get their consent. But in most cases, people um, don't mind you using their before and after pictures if they got results. If they look better than they did when they came to you. They'll probably be happy to share their results. So if I had like a little pie chart thing set up, I would have it like, you know, 50% of your content should be like helpful tips and tutorial workout videos. Another 30% uh, would be before, you know, and after pictures, result based content. And then 20%, hey, look at me, I'm a personal trainer. I'm running some bomb ass specials this month, right? That's how I would go about doing it. But most importantly, and I talked about this before, you know, be patient, you know what I'm saying? Be patient, but be consistent as well. Um, because you can actually post, you might post stuff for a month and nobody really, you know, bite on anything. Nobody really cares. You might get some likes, a couple comments, but like, if this is your business, you're a personal trainer, you're building your business. So be patient with it, no matter what. Be consistent, stick to a posting schedule and stick with it. And in the meantime, you know, while you're waiting for responses and everything, start maybe training somebody for free on the side. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a couple days out the week, maybe like I said, a family member, a friend, whatever. This way, this actually is going to create more content for you in the future. All right. So you can be, you know, building up content while you're waiting for that first client. But like I said, I stress to you, be patient, be patient and consistent and your client will come and they might come a lot sooner than you think.